Okay, so um, just a little background deal on myself so you guys know. But anyways, from a southern point of view, and I'm sure this is going to get me um, uh, some issues and stuff on Facebook. But nevertheless, I feel like it's an opinion that needs to be heard. Maybe some people don't know, hadn't thought about it, or maybe they don't realize it uh, from different parts of the country or different races. So, but I was, uh, so I grew up in Brownsville, Tennessee up until about ninth grade. It's like 85% black. And uh, I went to the military, served with a lot of black people, had a lot of great friends there. And uh, through martial arts training, um, I fought against a lot, trained with a lot, helped a lot, competed with. Um, so I have been around, a part of, friends with, enemies with, fought with, um, fought against everything you could do and every, every version and possibility of that way uh, with black people. So I feel like I have a, a right to have an opinion, whether my opinion is correct, politically correct. Um, it's still an opinion and it's a valuable opinion, I think, to some to hear. And, uh, and so anyway, so with that background, let me, let me, let me throw this at you. And again, I tell people all the time, I'm not prejudiced. I hate everybody equally. And, uh, so if I see a guy walk up, and he's got his pants hanging down, swagging around his, his below his ass, uh, loose clothing, tennis shoes untied, hat sideways with a sticker on it or something. It will not matter to me if you are black, white, Chinese, whatever. I'm going to assume that I have nothing in common with you. I don't like you, and I don't need to know you. And, um, you know, I'll, if it's some reason I'm proven otherwise different, I'll be accepting of that. But I'm going to assume that we have nothing in common, and there's no need for me to be around you vice versa if i saw a guy and he could be as black as the ace of spades and he had on a cowboy hat a button up in a vest and cowboy boots i would assume he was a cowboy and i would see a cowboy first and it wouldn't matter to me about the color at all as a matter of fact i know how hard it is to be a cowboy and what we do in our lifestyles and uh in in modern times how uncommon that is in itself and i would assume that if he's black and dealing with that in a culture where most people don't look like him, he's probably a really tough, handy son of a bitch, and I would probably like him. Um, so I would see the cowboy. So I, I think I see people's like, and I think most people are this way nowadays. I think they see your way you carry yourself, the way you talk, the way you dress, what you do for a living, the way you treat others first, and uh, and color is not near as important as society would like us to think that it is. Now racist jokes and stuff let's talk about that for a second i have heard said told laughed at as many racist jokes as anybody out there i don't think that people are telling those jokes hearing those jokes think that way about the person they're telling jokes about um at all i don't think that they wish any of the things in the jokes about the people i think it's the shock value where they go oh my god i can't believe you said that i can't believe somebody thought that and again, the people that tell racist jokes against black people also tell them about the Mexicans. They tell Jewish jokes. They tell gay jokes. And it's the shock value. This was out there. Are they correct? Is it right? Should people do it? Probably not. But nevertheless, it's the shock value of what you're saying. It's dark humor. Um, and I mean, they say it about, they're going to be joking about hair lips. They're going to be joking about people with one leg. I mean, it's just it's the whole the whole spectrum in it of humor and you can't say well it's just against this one little group or this one little race because i've never heard somebody that goes like they're telling a black joke and then you turn around and tell them a mexican joke and they're like hey can't talk about mexicans like that it's, it's not how it is it's just like you can you can go straight from a black joke to a mexican joke to a gay joke and they're just going to be laughing because it's the shock value i don't think anybody cares one way or the other um there's no emotional content to it. It's just who can come up with the most off the wall idea. Um, and I'm not endorsing those. I'm not saying that some people that tell them are not prejudiced or assholes. I'm just saying, I don't think it's the way that people present it as that it's specifically against a particular group because they don't like that particular group. And they're only telling a joke because they just really don't like that particular group. I think it's just the shock value. Um, so with, with that being said, I'm at this gas station, and these two black guys get out, and one yells at us, says, says uh, hey, hey, he said, what did he say? He said, he said, uh, he said, give me a drink, nigga. Now, 
here's here's my here's my problem with that. If somebody called me a cunt as an insult, I'm being pissed off, and it does not matter to me a lick if it's another white guy, a black guy, a Mexican guy, Korean guy, Chinese guy. It's just it's an insult, and I'm pissed. And what color the person called me the name or the insult is absolutely irrelevant to me. If you have a word that this guy can say because he's the same color as you and it's okay, it's actually friendly, but this guy can't say it because he's a different color than you and it's and you immediately assume that it's bad, even though if he thinks that you're a cool guy and he's trying to talk to you as a cool guy, he can't say it, then you're the prejudiced one. You are, because you let color define who can say this and who can't say that. White guys that want to run around with their hats and acting like that and their pants on swagging around and stuff, they'll be calling each other that word and they're white. You're, you're not, you're, you're just, you're just, you're a wannabe. You are a wannabe. And why you want to be like that, that lower level of society that nobody looks up to or respects is beyond me. That's, but that's uncomprehensible to, to me. But anyways, but nevertheless, and they go, oh no, you don't understand. One has a hard R and one has an A at the end. Well, that doesn't make you just prejudiced. That makes you stupid. Because if you, if I say R or A makes a difference to you, it wouldn't matter if I walked up to somebody and said, said, uh, hey, no, I say I can walk up. Let's, let's say, let's say, that here's this guy. He comes walking up to me, and I just like, you know, I said, I said, get out of my way, you fucking nigger. Get out of my way, you fucking nigga. Get out of my way, you're in, you're inward. I can say any variation of the three, you're still going to be pissed off because it's a damn insult. Even if I literally say the word, you're a fucking N-word. If I literally say N slash word, W-O-R-D, fucking N-word, you're going to go like, oh, that's very, that's very PC of you. How nice of you to call me just an N-word and not the real word. No, you're just pissed. So it's ridiculous to do that. If you don't, if you were a black guy and you didn't want anybody to call you that word or any variation of that word or any spelling of that word, I get it, 100% get that. If a black guy comes in and says, what's up my nigga? And you're just as mad as him as you are the white guy, the Chinese guy or the Mexican guy, you are correct. I agree with you. But if you let this guy say it because he's black and this guy can't say it because he's white, you're the racist. You're the racist. That guy might be racist, but you are racist. He might be, you are. Define it that way. And if we all want to be racist, that's cool too. I don't even care about that. It, you know? <laughs> but call it what it is. And don't be bullshitting around. But I, it is so annoying to me. If you, if you don't want people, look, look, to all the black people that watch this, to all the black people out there, and I hope it goes viral. If you want white people to stop calling you that name, stop calling each other that name. That is just fucking ridiculous. That's what it is. It's fucking ridiculous. That is my opinion and stuff. Now, here's the crazy thing. White people that want to get a pass and think that somehow that's cool. See, I don't even, I cannot comprehend that. If you if you run around with enough of them, you run around with enough black people, this group of black people will give you a pass that you can call that group nigga. You say, what's up, my nigga? Hey, that's my nigga right there. That's my nigga. But you go to a different group, it's not a universal pass. It's this little bitty group pass. It's a group pass. It means you can have like eight black friends that won't beat your ass because you say this. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. Why? Why do you want to do that? That doesn't even make any, that doesn't even make any sense. I've had people say like, "Well, that's that's my nigga right there." Well, did you buy him? I don't think so. You just means that you have made a good enough friend that he won't beat your ass. <laughs> it's not yours. He just won't beat your ass. Um, so stop doing it, because that, that's even more petty to me, and it's surely not, it's surely not um, anything to brag about. Um, you know, if the guy said, this is my friend right here, I'd be like, great, nice to meet you, brother. You know, if he said, this is my, 
this is my coworker. That's awesome. This is my brother-in-law. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't come up and go, it's my nigga right here. <laughs> okay, buddy. Sure he is. You know, like that's just <laughs> oh my god. You know what I hate worse than any race? Stupid people. That's what bothers me. <laughs> And I think stupid white people are the worst because I think, I think in fair, if you try to be fair, let's be fair for a second. This part's gonna really piss off a lot of people. If you're black and you was raised in the hood with black people all around you, and this was a way of life and a way of talking and a way of speaking that you grew up with, you're accustomed to, and you only know this is a way of life. I absolutely understand that. If you grew up in Paragould, Arkansas, <laughs> There is no hood here, people. There's not enough black, black people to round up and fill Walmart up at one time in the entire town. This is not a black town. I grew up in a black town. And you're acting like you're from the streets of Compton? You're goofy. <laughs> you're not tough. You're not cool. You're damn sure not a gangster. You drop, drop you off in one of them real hoods. They're going to eat you for fucking lunch. There's your reality. I have a better chance with this outfit on right here, walking through Compton in the blackest of blackest neighborhood, because they'll probably go like, who's this cool motherfucker? Who's this cowboy? I bet you that I could do it and end up with selfies and hanging out. And, and get, I could ride my mule in there and I'll bet you I can give kitty rides at a damn barbecue faster than you could walk through there and sell your damn drugs. <laughs> you're not a thug. Stop it. Stop. You're a damn, you're a joke. You're a fucking joke. I see the, <laughs> oh my God, I could rant on this shit forever. But let me sum this up. If you don't want to be called a nigger, nigga, or an N-word, stop calling each other that and acting like it's cool. If you're white, stop trying to be that because you're not. You can't be. You just physically cannot be, despite how bad you want it. Like I said, you cannot. If you get outside your little group of people, that's it. That's it. That's all you could strive for. You could be the coolest white nigga in a group about that big, in a world about that big. That's it. It's not universal. Trust me, it's not universal. You are not, you are not cool. You are not, you're not accomplishing what you think you're accomplishing. You know, um, anyways, we'll see you guys. So, what's up my niggas? <laughs>